I see recently, and I saw the live with you and Tune going, you know, going back and forth a little bit. Tune brought up the notion you lost two artists in one week. Is this because Ray Water's good for the WWE publicity <laughs> stunt? So <laughs> yeah. we we kind of debate like, is this shit really real? Man, or nobody, it's not? Listen, I can't lose nothing. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna have paint me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get my lick back from him. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 elaborate that on that. What you mean by nobody gonna have paint you? Yeah, what? nobody gonna have paint me. You know, uh, they ain't nobody gonna 15 one Erica Banks me. Ain't nobody taking nothing from me. I ain't losing nothing, you know. Mm. Uh, I'm smart at the business. You know, I learned from 03. Before he died, you know what I'm saying? He made sure he told him, look me in my eyes and said, Ryan, the people ain't like me. So, you know, you gotta have everything in order. And, you know, uh, you know, sometimes I'm hard on my artists. You know, sometimes I want them to be, I seen the worst, so I prepare for the worst. Yeah. So every day I wake up, I try to better myself. I got to do an interview, if I, go, if I got to go outside, if I got to go take pictures at the local movie theater tomorrow, I try to better myself. And when I go to sleep, I know I, I did good, good promotion for me and my organization. So, you know what I'm saying? I try to push my artists to do that. Like, sometimes I come out hard because I'm still grieving and, and I know the pain of, of calling someone and they ain't got... They don't wake up the next morning, or they or they kids don't see them for the next week or the next Christmas. So if you're around me, I'm gonna call you and push you. I'm gonna cuss at you. I'm gonna talk shit. Just try to put some fire on the gas. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and yeah, so uh, you know, uh, the worst thing, the the what I try to do is try to get people out the hood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you and me, and you have see, I was I I was brought the last six years with a beast. That he tried, he outworked me sometimes, where I had to catch up and outwork him. So that's all I know. That's all I know how to work and try to get to the top. So when I go to sleep at night, sometimes for the last year, I ain't been really be able to sleep. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? All I think about Mo3 and Ro Lee. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so whoever around me, we're gonna do it for them. And we ain't we gonna be on, we ain't coming second to nobody. So I remember the very first interview you and I did. We talked about paperwork, and at that time, you didn't believe in paperwork. Yeah, was that really just something between you and Mo Three? And now has that I since thought, changed? I thought that's how the game go. Gotcha. That you know, I learned me and Mo Three had a a brotherly friendship, business relationship. Uh, I learned that a lot of niggas won't, won't, might not. You, you, I probably never find another Mo Three. You know, because everybody calling my phone only calling my phone for what I can do for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He never called my phone for what I can do for him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, um, yeah, he looked me in my eye and told me that, though, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he did it, but, you know, uh, he he pulled out the contracts first. He told me, Ryan, I ain't finna do all this for nothing. Just cause anything happened, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, I, I follow that lead, you know, uh, you know, uh, some people, some people have a misunderstanding, but I'm standing on mine. Yeah, you gotta work. Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? You uh, uh, a gangster rapper. Only thing's good for them in this music industry is the is you get killed or you go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my artists get out of here. Gotcha. We gonna work every week. I fly to another state. I'm trying to take over the world. I already took over Dallas. <laughs> okay. 